Welcome to another video when it comes to the question of how to know when to repot your orchid if you are not growing in transparent pots, containers, as in my case I have white pots. I can't assess what is going on with the root system so most of what I do is look at the top of my pot, feel around the edge of my pot, and then also fill up the mask with water and see if I've got any bubbles, any gargling, giving me an indication of what is my oxygen exchange like inside the pot. This is Ancelia Africana. She has been in this pot for two years, a little bit more than. She came in my collection in 2020. And right off the bat, even if everything is fine in the pot, even if she still has space in the pot. It is very, very clear to see that this pot is broken. It is really falling apart. There was a time a couple of years ago where I cleaned my pots using a scrubby pad and bleach. All those pots have become super brittle. If I can say something about this whole thing with bleach and keeping pots clean, do not use them on any pots, no matter how good the quality, that bleach over time will have weakened the structure of the pot, which is happening on several of mine and all of the ones that were cleaned with bleach. Anyway, having said all that, another reason you don't need to see the roots inside your pots if you're ready to repot, even though the orchid looks to have plenty of room to continue to grow in here, is the fact that other than the pot being broken you got new roots coming and you want to prepare yourself for the future and not have an orchid disturbed over and over again so not even looking at what's going on in the pot i can see it's a good time to get in the pot is also rock hard there's only a little bit of flex at the top where the lecker is moving but the rest of the pot is and just well it's a brick house <laughs> it's mighty mighty you know i like it like this but there's also roots coming out at the base so new root growth will also determine whether you need to get into your pot now another thing that we are going to do is since the suggestion came from michael mccarthy a while ago we're going to flush through with plain ro water just to clean out the pot and then we're going to soak the orchid for an hour or two hours in plain RO water to see if the pH will indicate anything regarding the root health inside the pot. All this time I hope I managed to incorporate how my pH meter is measuring the water that is going to go into this pot. If I remember correctly it went down to 7.1 and ended up at 7.2 or something along those lines. But you'll have the pH reading of what is going into my mask right now to soak for two hours. Should this pH drop in such a substantial way, then we would also be able to indicate that there was root decay in the pot. If the reading is the same, then we can supposedly determine that there is no decay in the pot. And if your pot wasn't broken and wasn't feeling that rock hard, then there is no reason to repot. Now you could see even as I filled the pot up, I didn't have that many bubbles. My water isn't receding that fast. 24 hours ago, I soaked this orchid in calcium, magnesium and some seaweed just to prepare her for the repot. Because regardless of all the indicators today, the decision for me has been made. I'm going to repot her anyway. I'm just filming more and more examples because the orchid hobby has so many variables. I was going to repot anyway because this broken pot, I always slip with every time it cracks. One day, this orchid is going to fall out of my hands because I'm not that careful. Here's a little bit more ready to go. But it is still interesting for the sake of recording this and getting an understanding of all the variables and we will take her out of the pot in another video, but at least in this one we will check the reading of the mask, and then the repot video, when it airs, it will be linked in the description so that we can assess what is going on with the roots. I will see you in a blink of an eye. Okay, well, enough time has passed, and I have the pH reading running parallel, I hope, that is the plan with regards to how I filmed that just now and I've changed my mind. I'm going to take this orchid out of the pot in this video just because, well, according to the pH reading that we are getting as a final result, there's really not much death in here. I can see death at the bottom. So these roots here are compromised. They are soggy. There's only that one really nice root that we have. 
if I were to lose that by pulling this orchid out of the pot, <laughs> if you could see what I see. Right. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful sight? If we lose that root at the bottom because of what I'm going to do now, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I've got so much backup in here, it'll be fine. Considering this orchid came to me two years ago in such a pathetic state, I only had like two little canes, two separate or three separate little canes. It took forever, forever to see a new growth starting. I thought nothing would happen and look at what she's done now. I'm just going to ignore the fact there is a beautiful root down there. We'll pull her out and check out the root system. Well, well, well. And that would be three holes in the ground, but in my case, that is astonishing and a very satisfying sight. Yeah, I'm good with this. The pH itself didn't reveal anything, in my opinion, because, well, maybe it revealed one thing. The roots are fine. Absolutely fine. Got it all going down the pot. The only thing I can clean up here, really, if I were to be radical in the repot, I'm going to have to think about this now, is if I were just to take a cut of the root ball as from here and let new roots get in and start the new process all over again. <laughs> that root is still alive. <laughs> Maybe not for long. We shall see. Anyway, so our pH reading of the reasons of how to know to repot an orchid or not when you can't see the roots. The pH in this case indicated that everything was fine in the pot. Pulling her out of the pot, the proof is in the pudding. Everything is fine. Basically, this orchid could just go and be up potted into the next size up. Fill around with lecker and be done with it. So I'm going to think about this one. Anyway, that video will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Just another example. Mainly, the broken pot was the trigger. I need a nice looking pot and not something that's going to fall out of my hands every time I pick it up. And of course, the timing of the new roots. Perfect timing to get this orchid into something more sturdy and more aesthetically pleasing. Really appreciate your time. Maybe you'll be interested to see the potting up video, the cleaning up video. If that is the case, I appreciate it as well. And I thank you in advance. Have a beautiful day on one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.